All right, guys, welcome back. We are going to go through the new Thronebreaker difficulty. We're going to hit up every single boss. Starting in 1.1, we've got Ghost, Stun Immunity, Redlining, so you want you don't want to go past, like, too much past two bars of power, and Encroaching Stun. So this is a perfect uh, um, Hercules fight, because as long as we have a few feats of strength up, uh, we don't have to worry about the encroaching stun at all. Got a nice little intercept there. And again, just stun immune, so I'm just going to go and unblockable specials. So I am just going to get clipped in the face, but again, this is my like first like attempt through these bosses. So uh, I think um, the only one that I... Uh, ended up screwing up at the very end and then trying something different was the um, was Zemo but uh, we still got a solo but okay 1.2 we've got Modok he's hashtag metal so we're just gonna bring in Magneto I did make him a horseman just for fun he's got Bob and Weave like so all his ta attacks are crit but you can see I always like to back off at the beginning against the hashtag metal champion because the magnetism doesn't start right away and I find I have much better luck um, having the magnetism do its thing if I wait a second let the magnetism apply and then go in if you go and hit right away before the magnetism applies I find sometimes that it doesn't shut down the node quite the same so here we really have nothing to, to worry about I think his fifth hit is going to be uh, like um, a guaranteed crit but it's fine I'm sure with Bob and Weave you can go ahead if you really wanted to and let um let Ebony Ma just sit in here for an hour and <laughs> you know just uh you know not get hit because <laughs> it can't get hit by crits. But here, really easy fight with Magneto. Build up to uh, three bars of power. Drop a nice big special three. And it doesn't kill him, but it does put on like 33 bleeds, so he's just ticking away. So I'm just going to back off, evade that special, and let the bleeds do it. Okay, one more heavy, and then the bleeds take him away. Perfect. Next up, 2.1. Uh, we've got Diablo here. I think the idea is I'm supposed to use a skill attacker that can purify the debuffs, um, and I don't really want to be... Um, but he's going to be putting poisons on me. So I just saw the poisons, and I went with Poison Immune. The problem with Poison Immune is that it's going to give him power gain. I did use Mr. Fantastic's pre-fight, so I do have that Petrify there the entire time. Uh, so the power gain is not, uh, I guess, as potent. Uh, and I brought in Gladiator Hulk, and uh, the old five-star Gladiator Hulk, and he worked awesome. I didn't want someone who was going to be putting, um, like... Uh, a lot of bleeds or anything, so I don't know. I think I think the idea is supposed to be like a skill attacker and have him purify all this, the debuffs, and you probably get some attack bonus. But uh, I don't know. There's also poison immunity, and I didn't want to risk taking a bunch of poison damage, so I just went with the poison immune champion and a way to deal with the uh, power gain. Yeah, Gladiator Hulk putting in the work. Again, he's only a five star, so. And we are in Thronebreaker difficulty with slightly higher health pools, but he does a great job. There, I do get clipped, but it's fine. <laughs> we managed to uh, not get clipped any further. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect count as a solo. Even if you have 1% left, a solo is a solo. Another heavy. Waiting out a special. And as long as we keep heavying in special ones, we just, uh, you know, we're throwing our own specials. If we reapply the, the Mr. Fantastic pre-fights, it works out great. And I also have the uh, Mr. Fantastic and Doc Ock synergy. So there's power stings from a size champion. 
So that works out as well. Next we have Titania. And Titania here, um, it, uh, and you don't want to be putting too many debuffs on her. Um, and roll with the punches. It's kind of like Limber. She's going to reduce the stun effect by like 20%. So you can't really rely on that. And there is a root on this one. So here, right at the beginning, I totally forgot about her indestructible, unblockable, and vulnerability there. But it's fine. So we get clipped in the face with uh, Kingpin here. But now we just go ahead and just, just keep pushing her to specials the entire time. Like the eight second, I think it's like an eight second root timer is not so bad. Um, and just keep tabs on her haymaker, which is the gray bar that's uh, going around in a circle on the top right. When it gets back down to zero, like purple there, then she's got the haymaker. So you got to back out out of the way, make sure all of those buffs are gone and then you're free to keep hitting in again. So. Uh, this kingpin worked uh, great on this one other than the beginning of the fight that I screwed up and again just keep attacking in you can see that root timer as long as you get a hit in um, you'll just keep refreshing it there we go ahead I can't remember sometimes if that's a if it's an accidental uh, striker or an intentional striker I can tell you there's so many times that uh, where I was fighting, and uh, as soon as I st I like the idea of the striker, just it's always in the in the terrible thumb position, and then I accidentally trigger it too many times. All right, so one more uh, special one, and Kingpin handles Titania. Next is Zemo. So he is a hashtag metal champion. But I think his, it's his like first, his medium attack is non-contact. So it is a little tricky to get like parry heavies with um, uh, Magneto, but you can do it. Now he also has, he starts off with five cleanse charges. When you remove the cleanse charges from putting debuffs on him and on the node, um, you put like you end up putting some taunts on him. When they go away, you get rooted unless you can throw a special. So we're going to go in with Apocalypse here, our beefy rank 4 Apocalypse. And you can see I can't get the parry. I can get the mid-combo parries because he also has protection unless you knock him down. Also, I, I was trying really hard to figure out the timing. It's almost like four moves on his special one. Like, I was, like it's like a quick dash up on the heavy, but one, two three, four. That's kind of how I was counting it out. And there I got lucky, but I was trying to work out the timing on his special one so I could counter with my own heavy just to remove the protection. And then I'm sure if I actually got the timing down much better, you can see here I put taunts on him and those remove the cleanses. That's part of the node. So as I see the cleanses are going down to like two. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I tried to counter his heavy with mine there. There, that was an accidental striker, but we're going to go ahead, throw the <laughs> special two. And it doesn't do a lot of damage because the protection is still up. Ideally, you want to remove that protection before you throw your big specials. That's what I should have been doing. And so this fight takes a little bit longer than uh, it probably should have. And again, when that armor up disappears, um, that's when he's going to get his cleanse charges back. You can see there's the five cleanse charges, but we remove them. Like we, we again, uh, we avoid the root because we removed them with, uh, we got the special as they were disappearing. There, a nice counter on his heavy. There, I go ahead and use the mid combo stun to remove the protection. Now he has the uh, cleanse passives up again. Let him throw his special one. We go ahead. I don't throw the special yet because he still has three cleansed passives. There we go. He removes our, our debuffs, and we did it just as the protection was coming back again. So again, the timing was not great on here, so we probably could have done this fight a lot faster uh, if we had actually <laughs> gotten the timing right. But it is like my first time doing this fight with Apocalypse here. I did try with uh, Magneto, and I got off the special three. I almost got him down. 
Um, but uh, he was being stingy with his specials, and uh, he didn't throw the special one, and uh, he had, he ended up like pushing me into the corner, I think. So we went back in, go with Apocalypse, and Big Daddy Apocalypse gets the job done here. Again, good spacing on the special one, which can easily be countered. Just gotta practice the spacing. See, even there, I should have waited a second before throwing that heavy attack because now the protection is back again. So just my timing was off on this one. But once you get the timing right, it's it won't be as bad. There you can see I can I countered his special one with a heavy to remove the protection. Then we go ahead into a special that actually hits pretty hard. Because we, again, we remove the cleanse with the special so we don't get rooted. That is the key thing. You get rooted against this guy, it's going to suck. So it's just kind of knowing what's going on. That you're going to be removing the cleanse passives. You want to knock them down to remove protection. And then throw a special as the cleanses are being removed so you don't get rooted. So I think that's the the main the main ideas that you got to work on on this one. But other than that, it's not as bad. It's just probably the. I think this was the longest of the of the boss fights here. You can see here he's being really stingy with his specials. But same thing there. Now we get a nice big actual big special do. Got some big crits on that one. As we removed the protection before throwing the special and waited at the right time to throw the special so that we don't get rooted. Again, a really nice heavy counter there off of the special one, and we got him down. So slow and steady, but we got it done. And then Absorbing Man, the only key thing I, um, I briefly saw is that uh, he um, he's good. You need like an Incinerate Immune Champion against him is ideal uh he does have uh he is a mystic champion he gets a lot of passive uh regeneration here um i went in with void to reverse his uh like to stop and reverse his healing and i had not fought this guy at all no warm-ups no first attempts that failed this was my first try i did see briefly that his um Special 2 is kind of like Hercules, just a slightly faster Hercules uh, Special 2, because he kind of spins the like the mace around there, and then drops it down, and then the Special 1 is like a, um, like a charge up and a dash at you, I guess similar to maybe Rintra, not exactly, but like, there's the, there's that like modified Herc Special 2 there. Um, and so if we just go into a void, we don't have to worry about any abilities that involve uh, incinerate there. Like, uh, and he's just awesome for it. So we made a few special twos. Then here, see, he does like a, he does like a, a throw, and then he runs at you. So it is kind of like Rintra with the dash, but again, it's a slightly faster dash in at you, but you can counter it. Kind of throws the mace at you across the screen, then dashes in, and you can counter. So it is nice when you can get the timing on those specials on like your first try. So I feel pretty confident about this one here. So that's all the boss solos for Throne Breaker difficulty. I hope that helps, and we'll see you in the next one, guys.